welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Andrea and I film beauty videos here on YouTube. My favorite videos to film are decluttering videos. And if you guys are a new subscriber or a new viewer, thank you so much for watching. If you are one of my longtime viewers, I love that you took a few minutes of your day to come back and watch one of my videos. I am so excited because today I'm going to declutter some of my lipsticks. I'm a little bit nervous, but my lipstick drawer is overflowing and some of them have to go. I need to pass them along to family members and friends and I need to get rid of lipsticks that are expired. It's just a really good way to kind of keep my collection in check since I love trying new products all the time. So I recently did my eyeshadow palette, so I'll link those in the description box below as well as all of my decluttering videos. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm going to split this video in half. First I'm going to focus on these lipsticks and then next week's video will be these lipsticks. So let's jump into it and I'll start decluttering this side. I'm going to be hard on myself. I want to get rid of 75 lipsticks, which is such a huge goal. I feel like, but I also feel like I have so many lipsticks I could totally do it and I need to challenge myself because there are so many things that go unworn or that are expired and I feel like somebody else could enjoy them more than me. So let's do it. I'm definitely going to get rid of 75 at least and let's jump into it. So let's start with this section right here. The first lipstick that I do want to get rid of is this one. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Lust for Blush. I love this lipstick so much but I've had it for way too long and it's just time to get rid of it. Two other lipsticks that I want to get rid of are these ones. These are from the brand Lip Par. I think that's how you say it. And they're really gorgeous. I love the packaging. I think that I got them in a subscription box and they're so beautiful. They're really creamy, but I just don't wear them. This one is in the shade Purple Rain and I'm not a huge purple lipstick fan. This one's in the shade Crimson Wonderland, but I do have a lot of red lipsticks as you guys will see as we go through this video. So I want to pass these along to somebody else. I love my Milani lipsticks. Like they are some of my favorites. So I don't really think I'm going to get rid of most of these. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any of them. Actually, I will probably get rid of this one. This one is in the shade Rose Hip, which is such a beautiful pink, but I'm not a huge pink person recently, like a super big hot pink person, so I think I will pass this one along to somebody else. Again, this is a pink lipstick. This one is in the shade Burlesque, and it's from the brand Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's super moisturizing and pigmented and hydrating, but I just don't wear it, so somebody else will probably enjoy it more than I do. I love these CoverGirl lipsticks. They are like some of my favorite. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to trying more of them, but Flame is like my absolute favorite lipstick of all time. So I think I will declutter this one just because I have so many reds and I really have to start kind of passing some of them along. Otherwise I will hoard all of them. I don't wear Vibrant Mandarin because this is like a true orange lipstick and I just feel like orange lipsticks make my teeth look yellow. So it is time to pass that one along. I don't wear Brazen Berry because I'm not a huge purple lipstick fan. Unless it's like a super deep berry, I don't find myself wearing it. I do love Shocking Coral and Vivid Rose, so I'll hang on to those. Fuchsia Flash, let me swatch it. It's a really beautiful pink, but again, I'm not into like that super hot pink shade recently, so I am going to pass that one along as well. So I have a few of these NYX Butter Lipsticks, which I actually haven't worn very often. I do need to wear these, and I, I just, I want to try them before I get rid of them. So I am going to hang on to these shades just because I feel like they're good spring colors and spring is right around the corner hopefully but I think I'm going to pass along this one this is in the shade hunk and it's just like a berry color and I feel like I have enough berry lipsticks I also have three of these kind of they're like the benefit lip balms and I really like posy balm and I love Benna balm but I don't wear lolly balm as much because it is kind of like a pinky purple shade and it just doesn't look good on me so we're going to give that one to someone else I have this lipstick from Merle Norman which is a really gorgeous nude. I really like this color so I'm going to hang on to this one. I have this lipstick from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's actually supposed to be like a dupe for the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush I believe but I wasn't really even a fan of the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. This one always makes it through my declutters but I never wear it so I am going to pass this one along to somebody else as well. Then I have an It Cosmetics. Oh this is the yeah this is one of their Vitality Lip Flushes but this one is actually a nude shade. I do love this. I haven't worn it a whole lot, but it's a really beautiful kind of sheer nude that adjusts to your lip color. So I think I will use this one for a little while longer. I only have one of the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Matte Popular and it's a really beautiful color. I think that I will keep it for a little while longer just because I do like the shade and I think it's pretty for spring. And then I have a few of these Urban Decay Lipsticks. These are like some of my favorites. They're so beautiful and so pigmented. So I have 
Naked, which is like a pretty nude, and then I have F-Bomb, which is a red color, but I love these, so I'm going to hang on to these as well. I will definitely declutter this one. This one is Vamp It Up, and it is a super, super dark color. I'll swatch it for you guys, but it's a little bit too dark for my taste. I definitely don't wear this one, so it is time to pass this one along. I also know that there's like a super bright pink, I think it's this one, in Dollhouse Pink that I just, I never wear. It's such a beautiful color, and it looks pretty on so many people, but it doesn't look good on me, so it's time to get rid of that one. I do like Cherry Bomb, so I will hang on to that one. It is one of my favorites, and I just repurchased it. And then I have a few reds. It looks like I have three different red shades. These two are super similar, and they actually look like ones that I already own. So Sunset Siren, and this one is in the shade Spotlight Red are going to be passed along to somebody else, but Red Velvet is like one of my all-time favorite red lipsticks, so I will hang on to this one still. Then I have Don't Blink Pink and Pinkerbell. I think that Pinkerbell is going to be so pretty for the springtime, so I think I will hang on to that one, but I do feel like I have a lot of shades similar to Don't Blink Pink. I have a few of the Lasting Finish by Kate lipsticks. These are by Rimmel London, and I'm definitely going to hang on to these since I did declutter a bunch of my red lipsticks. I have two reds that I love. These are like two of my favorite reds of all time, and then I have two kind of more like neutral shades. So I think I'm going to hang on to these lipsticks. So I have a ton of e.l.f. lipsticks right now. I feel like I've just accumulated a lot of them. And these are their moisturizing lipsticks. And I do like some of them, but I feel like the formula is not consistent throughout the entire line. A few of them are really patchy, and then a few of them are really pigmented. So I'm going to go through and declutter the ones that are just not as good as the other ones or colors that I don't wear. So let's see, we have like this black shade right here. This one is in the shade Blackout. I never wear black black lipstick, so it's definitely time to pass that one along to somebody else. These two lipsticks actually aren't part of their moisturizing lipstick line. I think that these are their mineral lipsticks. I have two shades. I have Runway Pink and Rich Raspberry. I do love the formula of Rich Raspberry, which is like this kind of really pretty pink one, but Runway Pink is just a little bit patchy for me, a little bit dry. So I'm going to pass along Runway Pink and keep Rich Raspberry. Since I did keep like three other reds in this section, I think that I'm going to pass these two along to somebody else. Speaking of red lipsticks, here's another one. This one's in the shade Bordeaux and it's from the brand Galaney. I think that's how you say it. I already have like my favorite reds, so I'm going to pass this one along to somebody else as well. Okay, this one is in the shade Blackberry and as you guys can see, like that one applies a little bit patchy. So it's definitely not as good as some of the other ones. Um, this one's like a straight orange. This one is Orange Dream. So I'm going to pass that one along because I honestly won't wear this it. This one is in the shade In the Nude, which again, this one is like super patchy. I am going to keep this shade because I feel like I got rid of all of my coral lip glosses, but I've really been wanting to have some corals on hand for springs. So that See, that one is like so moisturizing and it's really pigmented. So I will hang on to that one. I just swatched the four of these because they kind of look similar as far as like the packaging. I'm actually going to hang on to two of them. So I'm going to keep this one, which is Pink Minx, and I'm going to keep this one, which is Wink Pink, because they applied the best. I swatched these four, and I really liked this one and this one. These two are really similar, and this one just didn't look as nice on the hand. This one is in the shade Bordeaux Beauty, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then Berry Kiss just does not apply very well at all, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. So over here I have a a few of the City Color B Matte Lipsticks, which I actually really like these. These are a good, affordable option. They are really matte, and they go on the lips nicely, and they're pigmented. But unfortunately, I do not wear all of them. I'm really a big fan of like liquid lipsticks these days, so I am going to go ahead and declutter a few of these. Let me see what colors I have. So I am going to hang on to this dark one and then this dark one as well because they apply really nicely. They're super pigmented. I am going to declutter this red one just because I already have a shade like that. And then I am going to declutter this nude one because it doesn't apply as nice as the other ones. I do have two of these Too Faced lipsticks. One is in the shade Fuchsia Shock, and the other one is a really pretty nude. It's in the color In the Buff. Everybody raves about these. A lot of people love these, but I find that they're like a little bit too soft, a little bit too moisturizing for me, and they literally just make a mess when I wear them. Like they get all over the place. So I am going to go ahead and declutter these because I never wear them. So I really love the NYX Matte Lipsticks. They are some of my favorite. I just think the formula is amazing. So I'm probably going to hang on to most of these 
these I, there is one aria I love this color and I love the name because it reminds me of pretty little liars but unfortunately this one just doesn't apply as nicely as the other one but I do like a lot of these colors this one's really pretty this one I don't know I got it I think like last spring or maybe the spring before and it's so beautiful but it's like a straight up orange and I'm not really a huge orange lipstick wear so I will hang on to these and I will get rid of those two and then this is a wet and wild Fergie lipstick which I really like so I'll hang on to that as well let me move through this section pretty quickly because there's a lot of lipsticks jammed into this little area so I am going to pass along this pixie lip balm because I don't wear it this NYX butter lip balm because I don't wear that one either these two are like two of my favorite lipsticks these are the model co party proof matte lipsticks so I'm going to keep those oh here is the it cosmetics lipstick I was talking about this is the vitality lip flush which kind of adjusts based on your lip color but I don't really wear that one so I'm going to give that to somebody else this is a Revlon lipstick that I've had for a while and it is in the shade black cherry but Milani's black cherry is like basically the same color and I like the Milani one a little bit better I love these urban decay mini lipsticks and I'm so sad to say that I have to get rid of them because I actually found like I don't know if it's mold or if it's just like changing color but it's really gross and it's time to declutter that because I found it on one of them so I'm sure like most of them are affected by it since I got them all at the same time I haven't even had those that long I literally got them last December but there's like something about mini lipsticks I feel like the packaging there's something about them but they expire a little bit quickly on me so next I have this Tarina Tarantino lipstick which I never wear so it's time to pass this one along it's a pretty light pink color but it's a little bit too sheer for me then I have this cargo lipstick, which again, I never wear. I think this one is cargo. No, it's a Becca Cosmetics lipstick. It's in the shade Eloise, but it's a pretty nude, but I just, I don't wear it. I have so many nude lipsticks that I don't need this one. I am going to hang on to this Kevin Aquan lipstick, which is a really beautiful matte red shade that I love. And then I have this lipstick. This is a cargo lipstick and it's a nude shade. And this is like one of my favorite lipsticks. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. I have a Bite Beauty lipstick duo, which I really like. This is a Motives lipstick, such a beautiful red. But honestly, I have enough red, so it is time to go ahead and pass that one along. These two are from Gorgeous Cosmetics and I don't really wear these. I do like them, but Again, I have another red. I feel like I keep saying I have a lot of reds, but I feel like I'm decluttering all of my reds. I don't know. I have a few, so I will pass that one along. And then this purple one has a little bit of shimmer in it, and I'm not a like super shimmery lipstick fan. I have these two lipsticks from the Solo Look, which I love. They're pigmented, they're beautiful. This one is from Mirabella. And it is a red lipstick, but it is so gorgeous. Like, it's insanely pigmented. So I think I will hang on to this one since I'm getting rid of so many red lipsticks. And then this one is from Bare Minerals. Let me take a look at this one. This one is a really, really gorgeous color. So I do think I will keep this one. So I have a few of these lip balms from e.l.f. Cosmetics, which I do like. I don't think I will keep this one because it's, again, like a bright orange. And I just, I don't really wear it that much. And then this one has a lot of shimmer to it. So I will probably go ahead and pass that one along but I do love these three I think they're really great posy balm is one of my favorites so I think that I will go ahead and keep that one this Bella Pierre cosmetics lip color is just something that I don't reach for so I will declutter that one this is like the ultimate lipstick like in the way that it makes it through every single declutter but I never wear it so it is definitely time to go ahead and get rid of that one because it is super old at this point I have two of these Smashbox lipsticks let me check these and make sure that they don't yeah these ones are still good I got these at the same time that I got those Urban Decay lipsticks I don't know why those were no this one's good too so I am going to hang on to these because I do like these I do want to make it a goal to use these NYX matte lipsticks more often or these are like their soft matte lip creams and then I have a few of the extreme lip creams so I'm not going to get rid of any of them yet because I do want to see if I use them if I don't I will declutter them the one that I do want to get rid of is this one because I remember that it didn't apply very well I just got this lipstick not that long ago it was like an ipsy point perk and it's from buxom I love their lip glosses so I definitely want to keep that one and wear it a little bit this one is from Bella Pierre cosmetics again and I love these they are so creamy and beautiful 
but I don't know, I have a lot of colors like that, so I'm going to pass that one along. These e.l.f. lipsticks are so old. I've had these for forever. I love them so much. They're so pigmented and beautiful, but they are all really old, so I am actually going to go ahead and toss these because I know that I've had them in my collection for a really long time. This is an M by Michelle Phan lipstick, which again has made it through quite a few declutters, but I never wear it, so it's time to part with that one. This is my favorite lipstick of all time. I love CoverGirl Flame, but I love NARS Anna. I think that is so beautiful, so I will hang on to that one, and then this Elizabeth Arden lipstick is fairly new, so I will hang on to this one as well. So these are all lip products that are actually in my everyday makeup drawer right now. I threw them in here because I knew I was going to do this video, but I'm not going to actually declutter any of these because a lot of them are lip glosses and then like a few of my favorite lipsticks. I don't see anything that I don't wear at the moment, so I will hang on to all of those lip products for the time being. I feel like I did such a good job. I feel like I got rid of so many lipsticks. Like I filled this entire tray full of lipsticks, which is kind of sad. It makes me like a little frustrated that I have so many products that I don't wear, but I feel like I am passing them along to somebody else who can enjoy them, so it's not like they're going to a complete waste unless they are expired. But I feel like it really makes me think twice before I purchase more lipsticks because I have this entire tray that went unused. I still have to do this side, so I feel like I'm definitely going to go over 75, which is awesome. I'm really excited to just kind of clear out my collection and only have things that I love in here. So stay tuned for that video, or if you're watching at a later time, I will link it in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.